Are you ready for a top adventure? Well, believe me when I say you'll get vertigo during this video. Stay tuned for the Top 10 Tallest Buildings in the World Number 10. Guangzhou CTF Finance Center This starts off with a colossal tie. Both the Guangzhou CTF Finance Center and the Tianjin CTF Finance Center are two titans located in China that stand 1,739 feet tall. I hope you don't get vertigo. The Guangzhou CTF Finance Tower was completed in 2016. It has 111 floors above ground, five more floors below ground, and is so big that it hides its own shopping center inside. Can you imagine that? The rest is a bunch of offices, apartments, restaurants, and its highest floors are luxury hotels. Now, the other one that also competes in the same category is the Tianjin CTF Finance Center. It was completed in 2019 and hides eight mega columns that give it unparalleled anti-seismic resistance. And if you thought the odd exterior shape was just because, you're wrong. The designer brought it in to reduce the impact of wind currents. Amazing, isn't it? Number 9. One World Trade Center At 1,776 feet tall, this is the tallest building in the United States. But where exactly? Well, in New York, a few meters away from where the original World Trade Center was located before it was destroyed during the 9-11 attacks. Ten years later, in 2011, this megastructure was already fully erected to symbolize that the American spirit always rises, but even has the same name. Building such a great tower required $3.9 billion, of which $250 million were given by New York. The result was not only a tower full of offices and hotels, but the One World Trade Center is meant to protect against terrorist attacks. This fortress has steel panels, explosion-proof glass, and ventilation filters to counteract any attempts at chemical contamination. This building is ready for anything. Isn't it impressive? Number 8. Lot World Tower After 13 long years, the Lot World Tower finally got its building permit in 2010. Why was it so difficult? Well, it was the first skyscraper in South Korea with more than 100 floors. It has 123 specifically. It's 1,824 feet tall and, although it was promised to be all set by 2016, its construction was completed in 2017. However, the fact that it was incomplete didn't stop it from becoming an icon of New Year's Eve celebrations since 2016, when it held the countdown with LED lighting. Then in 2017, it launched fireworks for more than seven minutes and so on, its celebrations have continued to stand out, even for other festivities such as the commemoration of the Pyeongchang 2018 Olympic Winter Games. But don't assume that it's only beautiful. This skyscraper can withstand earthquakes up to a Richter magnitude of 9 and 80 meter per second winds, so it'll be around for quite a while. Number 7. Golden Finance 117 not all colossal builds are going places, and the Gold Inn Finance 117 is proof of that. It's located in Tianjin, China, and its construction began in 2008. So it was projected to be completed in 2014. However, due to economic problems related to the Great Recession, the project stopped in 2010. In 2011, they picked up the construction and the structure reached a height of 1,957 feet in 2015. But although the framework was ready, the project stopped again in April 2022. What's more, the construction company fired all its workers and left the building as it was. What will happen with it from now on? I have no idea. The Gold Inn Finance 117 is empty and incomplete, but there have already been some visitors. In 2015, a Russian and a Chinese urban explorer snuck into the tower just for fun. And in 2016, the Russians Ivan Birkus and Angela Nikolaou explored the building to record a video that today has almost a million views. Number 6. Ping An Finance Center Check out this light show in Shenzhen, China. It's the Ping An Finance Center that is capable of drawing those beams of light in the night sky thanks to its powerful LED lights. 
that have a special feature so as not to blind people who are looking at the tower. This is a huge 1,966-foot-tall building full of offices, hotels, shops, and even a luxury shopping center inside. Glorious, don't you think? Well, it wasn't spared from controversy in 2013 when it was suspected that the type of concrete that was being used could corrode the steel structure. However, the material was later found to be safe, so the project continued and was completed in 2017. Its 115 floors hide 33 two-story elevators. Could you believe it? Two-story elevators! And of course, it wasn't spared from escalation attempts either. In 2015, being incomplete, it was climbed by photographer Kiao Wee. At least he got good shots, didn't he? Number 5. Abraj al Bait. If you were at the Abraj al Bait, you would have a direct view of the Kaaba, which is considered by Muslims to be the holiest place in the world. That's why this megastructure completed in 2012 is one of the most premium places in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. And although the upper floors are a five-star hotel, it also has two large prayer areas with a capacity of 10,000 people. Within its height of 1,972 feet, it also shelters its own shopping center and a parking lot for more than 1,000 vehicles. However, you must have already noticed that the most striking thing about it is the clock faces and moon-shaped antenna. Well, let me tell you that this clock is the largest in the world because its faces are 141 feet in diameter and its edges are illuminated by 2 million LED lights. As for the needle, it's 75 feet high and hides an extra area to pray. Interesting, right? Number 4. Shanghai Tower Wait, what? It looks like someone twisted this building. Don't worry, this Titanic Tower has such a peculiar shape because it can reduce the impact of air currents by up to 24%. How incredible! Its construction was completed in 2015 and, as you can tell from its name, it's located in Shanghai. So its height of 2,073 feet makes it the tallest building in the entirety of China. It's also considered to be the most ecologically sustainable building in the world as it's designed to collect rainwater for internal use, recycles part of its wastewater, has wind turbines that produce 10% of the electricity used by the building, and its exterior windows can regulate temperature. So the use of air conditioning is also reduced. Needless to say, it has many internal gardens. Number 3. Merdeka PNB 118 the buildings around the Merdeka PNB 118 look like little sticks. I mean, how could they not? If this mega tower is 2,227 feet tall, it's located in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and its name literally means Independence Day, in honor of the independence of Malaysia in 1957. In fact, its design with the pointed spire represents Tonku Abdul Rahman, the Prime Minister of Malaysia in 1957 who had his hand raised while chanting Merdeka during the proclamation of independence. Merdeka! Do you also want to chant Merdeka, don't you? At present, it hasn't reached completion yet, and while it won't get taller anymore, there are still some internal and external details that are being worked on. When it's ready, if you're lucky enough to visit it, you'll be able to see the Merdeka Stadium and the Nagara Stadium from above. What a nice view for sports lovers, huh? Number 2. Burj Khalifa Designed by American architect Adrian Smith and completed in 2010, the Burj Khalifa is the world's tallest building today, according to the Guinness World Records, at 2,716 feet. Not only is it huge, but it's beautiful and extremely luxurious. Where else could it be but in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates? Everything here is first class, including the offices, apartments, restaurants, hotels, and even the observation deck. By the way, from the top, you'll have a fantastic view of the Dubai Fountain, which gives you extraordinary water and light shows. But you may be wondering, how is such a colossal structure maintained? Well, there would be no way to do it the conventional way. So on every 30 floors, there are seven levels of mechanical areas to control things such as electricity. Plus, for emergencies, on every 25 floors, there are security rooms equipped with pressurized air. The skyscraper is also anti-seismic, 
Seems that they thought of everything when making it. Bonus Exceed 4000 This is an unbuilt concept that stands 13,112 feet tall and looks more like a vertical city than a skyscraper. It was planned in 1997 in Japan. Tokyo Babel Tower The interesting thing is that, before planning the XC that you already saw, Japan had another idea in 1992, another vertical city. It was supposed to be 32,808 feet tall. Wow! Alright, let's go with the winner of this top 10 list. What could be taller than the tallest building by the Guinness World Records? Number 1. Jeddah Tower, 2020 I'll get straight to the point, it's not completed yet and currently stands 2,192 feet tall. However, that doesn't mean this tower located in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, will gradually be 3,300 feet tall. Can you imagine what a full upright kilometer is? Perhaps it helps you out if you open Google Maps and search one kilometer from where you are to another place. This tower will be simply colossal, something never built before. The architect in charge is Adrian Smith, the same one who designed the Burj Khalifa in number two. While number two had a view of a giant pool, the Jeddah Tower, which will also be full of luxuries and stuff, will have an exclusive terrace at 2,000 feet with a direct view of the Red Sea. But if you want to see the Jeddah Tower at its finest, you'll have to wait a little longer. Did you feel dizzy while exploring these mega structures? Let me know in the comments. And while you're there, like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Until next time.